So I didn't know how to spell my name until I was in like year 10. And parents were I told like schools that it was spelled L-I-L-L-I-A-N-N-A. So that's how it was written on the register. So that's how I would write my name up until year 10. And I came into school and I was like, please start just calling me Lily because it's so much simpler. And um, L-I-L-I-A-N-A. So we've got me, my brother, um, brother's 20 now. Um, Rosie is 17 and Angelica is 11. So your dad's name is? Pietro, Pietro, Pietro. Rossi. So this is mum and Pietro back in the day. Um, yeah, they're both very good looking people. He was back then at least. Um, stunning, <laughs> pretty. They're in Italy, holding Christian. Like just after, like me was when Chris, was when Pedro started being weird again. Um, yeah, that's them getting off. That's lovely, isn't it? Since she had such a like struggle and troubled relationship with everything he had like done to you and made you do, would you say that you you did love him as a father? No, he was um a bastard. We, he would steal things all the time. He would lie all the time. He'd fight all the time. He constantly demanded respect despite everything that he'd like do. Like when we did have good times, we'd just be stealing from the shop and you know, never had any good times with him by that. Like forgiven the things that he's done because he was um, like addicted to heroin and whatever, but like it, because I've grown up with him, like I've just, I've hated him for it. Like that was his choice, you know, like he had a loving family and whatever and he constantly made things about himself. He was an absolute drama queen. Um, yeah, like we just, you know, as I said, forgave him for things that he did because I don't think like mentally you could help it. Um, he eventually went back to Italy because like he'd run out of money here, like and he was like in fucking loads of debt and whatever. There was a good, was it like two years that we were getting dominoes for Christmas? It was, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and then the next day my mum would make Christmas dinner because we wanted just to kick back on Christmas. Then she'd the next day just make abundance of food. Because Rosie always just wants food, like maybe pizza. I'm like, <sighs> so my dad passed away in twenty fourteen on Christmas Eve. We'd been told like he was on his deathbed for like two weeks. We didn't know like how long he had left, but I refused to speak to him because we just weren't we didn't have a good relationship. And Rosie had spoken to him. Angelica spoke to him and Christian had spoken to him, but it was just on the phone um, because obviously he was in Italy, so we couldn't see him. Um, not that we wanted to, because before that we were trying to kick him out of the house anyway. Um, and then my mum passed 2017 on the 15th of March and I was, it was, we weren't expecting it, like, at all, like, she was ill for a bit, but we'd only been t told that she was getting better and better, like, she went into a coma for, like, a good, like, I think it was, like, seven or eight months, um, but we were all really young, so, like, don't really remember it that much, and then a police woman came to the back door and was knocking on the fence, and I was just like, oh my gosh, like, I was like, if she's, like, here because we're smoking weed, like, what the fuck, um, and she was like, um, can, like, are you, Amanda's kid and I was like yeah I'm Amanda's kid and she was like can I speak to you please and I was like oh for fuck's sake like I knew instantly like, what this was going to be about I was like we had to tell Angelica and Christian we were like look let's have tonight like give them tonight because they're just gonna like it's already it was like 12 o'clock at this point like it was a, a long long night um just like give them tonight it'll be fine whatever and me and Rosie decided to get fucking drunk because obviously we just had to so yeah, I mean, Rosie got smashed. These people came around. The house was trashed. They instantly felt like everything was like bad conditions. Like there was no chance that I could look after like these kids because I was nineteen and Christian is incapable of anything. Like he has no documents to even say that he's alive. Like he's literally been inside of his room his whole life. And I told Christian first. I said, um, Christian, I got some news today, and my mum's passed. And he was just like, What are we gonna do? Like straight away, didn't like he wasn't like how about like how did she die? What happened? And just like what do we do? He was out of the question, like they straight away said that I was next in kin and when they came around they said like you need to stay with like one of your family relatives because this isn't a good like family dynamic, like you need adults in the house. <clears throat> so like that for a good three months I had to fight for Angelica and Rosie and like while this was happening I had to get the fucking funeral in order and all this shit as well. Yeah, my relationship with my mum's always been like absolutely amazing, like the best woman in the world, like 
don't understand how she ever managed to get with Pietro. Like, in her defence, he was good looking when he was younger, but he was an absolute bastard. <laughs> Went to the shop every day. Like, we're there. We'd come home, we'd clean up. We'd cook. I didn't do the bills, but to be fair, neither did she. Did she like, she didn't know shit about bills. So, like, when she had passed, it was easier to, like, take on the kids. Because I kind of knew what I was doing. I knew, like, the ropes. So it wasn't, like, a big leap. Which is why I was fighting for it. Like, if I didn't think I could do it, I wouldn't have done it. But, yeah. It was harder than I thought it would be, but it's fine now. Um, I used to work inside a hotel with my mum down the road. Um, she was like the head chambermaid and I was a chambermaid and a waitress. So every time that we would finish work, we'd like go to the co-op and then we'd get our money out and we'd go to this little cafe. Um, and that was quite a regular thing because obviously it was work, so we did that like every day. Um, so because I was at work and dogs didn't get to do it with us, I like offered and she did it with us once. Um, but like I kept telling her I wanted to take her back, so it was nice that we did it today. Um, I talked to my like auntie and like grand there as well, cause I asked if like there was anywhere that me and my mum would like go, and I said yeah, that cafe. So it like does it's it's nice, it's nice to go there because that's where we go all the time. Right, why don't you show me your homework? Cause I'll, I'll it's full. Cause I've got homework club to go to. And when's that? It's Monday. Mike Monday. When's that been happening from? Never heard of homework club. I've told you about homework. No, you club. haven't. You yes, do this all the time. Yes, I have. Look, you cannot just pull this face really and assume and think that I'm just going to believe whatever you say because you've gone, uh, uh. Lily, where's my, where's my math? Oh, my oh why did you say homework club? Yeah, my no, math is my not math. to do. Yeah, Lily, I have to go you to my home. You've come home and said, oh, Lily, I need, I've got my math homework to do. And I'm like, yeah. okay, that's fine. And then, and now suddenly you've got this homework yeah. club you can go yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. I've had it for ages. Ages, have you? I haven't gone. I can't do it on other people, so good luck. I can do it. I can do it. Are they outside of the house? Silver Fox. Oh, yeah, Silver Fox is your boyfriend. Okay. You are going to school, <laughs> missus, and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no. you are. <laughs> to school. <laughs> no. oh, I'll just go like this then. Oh. <laughs> Bye, Joe. I love you. Mwah, 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 mwah. <laughs> I've been inside the kitchen though and seen a fucking dish. At least, at least three dishes to be fair. So. What? Yeah, wasn't me. I bet it was. Probably Chris. Probably Chris. Christian blamed you as over, so it's just a fucking flip flop. Is that what I came into? Living in the oven. At 12 o'clock at night, you made her chips. At <laughs> 12 o'clock at night, Christian made Angelica chips. Are you having a laugh? Jelly! Tea's ready! <laughs> that tea doesn't even work. Is. I tried to so like my mum's style of drawing was really really like elongated like women and so like, I tried to do it and it's like alien-esque sort of thing I tried to copy it and did not look anything like it like she hers is like stunning and um, like that's just like something small yeah that's really not nothing but that's something and that's baby legs buzz very proud the plan is once Angelica is like grown up and like old enough to look after herself like I'm off that's it like I'll be somewhere else I don't think my life is going to be like what it is I work as, it's going to be like what I do outside of work. So whatever pays the bills is fine. 
you know, just travel wherever it's like cheapest and then I'll go to the next place once I've gotten off money. That's the plan.